Very good. Our, our next speaker is Christina Dijuan yeah. from Trial Reach and Health 2.0. Uh, yes. um, and her, her topic is Digital Health, the Future is Here. And a few, uh, just a few uh, facts about uh, Christina. At Trial Reach, she's responsible for developing robust and long lasting partnerships with sponsors of clinical trials, mainly top pharma and CROs. Uh, she has managed clinical trials at Paraxel, Bristol Myers Squibb and Roach, where she was responsible for the implementation of a compassion use program uh, during the flu pandemic. In her spare time, uh, she leads Health 2.0 London chapter with the aim to ensure the success of digital health in the UK. Uh, three facts. Um, she went on a school trip in France when she was 14, went by train with a friend and went exploring. When they came back to her wagon, we realized the train had gone and they had left the wagons we were exploring in a station in the middle of France. And maybe you can... We were rescued. You were rescued. That's yeah, good. Yeah. Well, obviously you got back. You're here. Very good service. They have the <laughs> French trains. So, yeah. Shall I make it? So yeah, thank you for the intro. And um, so basically, I've, what I want to, to tell you today is about a, a passion I found a few years ago. So I was working in pharma for many years, and then I moved into a technology company. Um, and really, this has become a passion of mine, uh, how digital health is really here to improve our lives and you know medicine in general. So what is digital health? Well, you all know this is the use of technology to advance healthcare. So I was thinking of some of the ways that um, you know this digital health is now uh, helping us, or some of the companies who have been sparking my um, my attention lately. So what can we do to digital health to you know to improve medicine? So one will be to accelerate drug development, uh, stop the spread of disease, and maybe improve how we diagnose disease, uh, putting a doctor in your pocket, and you know digital medicine and really uh, connecting uh, people and making ideas grow. So one of, uh, you know, one of the things is, uh, and this is my day job, it's uh, building a platform uh, that really connects, aim to connect patients and clinical trials. Um, a way is just to provide the tools for, to pay, you know, to anyone in the world to upload their trial in a few minutes and then really to distribute this information. So everyone, all of us or, you know, any family member that is online um, can see this information and get educated about trials. So ultimately, um, you know, but we will make it patient-centric and then, you know, give the responsibility to patients to be the ones uh, wanting to enroll in, in the trials. So all, another one of the companies that I found really fascinating, it's um, a company who have developed a handheld um, a DNA sequencing machine. So really, um, what, what they're doing, they, uh, you, well, with this machine, you are now able to um, sequence, uh, you know, the, any virus or bacteria on, this, on site in any of these countries and really send the information to the cloud. So immediately you're going to see the kind of disease that is spreading and ultimately I think this could potentially, uh, you know, stop a pandemic because you have the information live in the cloud within 20 minutes. So um, another of the companies that I found extremely interesting uh, was a company that is uh, applying chemical sensing technology to the medical field. So you would think, you know, can you detect uh, lung cancer by breath? Well, if sniffers dogs do. And as it seems, uh, this company is now using this technology to diagnose all of these diseases, which I think is remarkable. Um, another one, you know, if, if, I mean, I don't know how it works here, but in the US, in the, in the UK, um, if you want to see your doctor, it's kind of a painful process. You have to call, be on the queue, book it, you know, and basically waste your day uh, going there. So with this app, you literally are putting uh, your GP or even a consultant in your pocket. You can call them, you can have a FaceTime, um, you know, call with them, and really you don't even need to call anyone or go to the, to the surgery, which I think this could really, uh, I mean, it really helps me, uh, definitely, and I would think it will help a lot of us. And I think the, uh, one of the last companies that I have here and this discussion that I had with you and these guys were actually presenting um, a bit earlier on is having an ingestible uh, a, 
uh, sensor. So really you have an appeal and you're having a digital device that is sending information to, um, you know, to, to a machine. So you can actually manage your care or you can manage your, fam your, your you know, your members of your family care that might live miles away. I mean, this is uh, incredible. Uh, from my point of view. And then the last one is just, uh, you know, how are we making all of these new technologies talk to each other? So, you know, we can organize, we actually organize through the Health to Point conferences where you get a startup, so you get uh, developers who have a passion, you know, engineers who have a passion in, in health and just building these new, uh, these new products and new technologies. And this is the list of companies that, uh, that I was mentioned. Um, and I think that's it, and I'm actually plenty of time.